Hi, I'm Sean Penn, and I'll be reading for Robocop. His methods are, you know, a, a bit severe. He does this thing called smacting. The water's rising, Martha. Can you feel it? And you and I are drowning. I don't believe you, Sean. Do it again. The water's rising, Martha. And you and I, sorry. The, water, the water's rising, Martha. Can you feel it? And you and I are drowning, slowly. Good, good. <laughs> the pool noodle is the only way I can learn. With an actor like Sean, sometimes uh, one must turn to unorthodox methods. I'm Sean Penn. Say it like you mean it. Make love to the camera. Pick the camera up. Take it to your room and make love to it. And don't come back until you're finished. Well, Jim's been my private coach for years now. He comes to my house even when I don't have a class scheduled. He showers here, he eats my food, sleeps on my couch. We're out of Peter Crackers. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. When I'm looking at actors, I ask them one question. Have you studied under Kimmel? If the answer is yes, we can talk. If the answer is no, I tell Cuba Gooding Jr. to go f himself. Acting requires movement. Movement requires expression. Expression requires presence. And those who master presence may embody any role from that of leading man to... Can I, can I get up now? Did I tell you to act like a chair? <laughs> Who cares talk? <laughs> Breathing. I mean, I've been in the class for two years, and, you know, I paid several thousands of dollars, and, you know, he just has me play chairs and lamps. And he says, I, I need to graduate before I, I play people. And I'm like, you know, sir, I've been in movies, you know, like huge black... Lamps don't talk. I was actually there uh, during uh, Damon's uh, lampshade work. Uh, it's referred to as the lampshade class, really. And there was Matt, so beautifully still and uh, lamp-like, you know, so uh, realistic, really. I was never very good. I had problems, and I'm still, I'm still working on it. Uh, we've got a couple of classes, um, what is it, next Thursday? Uh, yeah, gotta work on it. Stand up and put your mouths on each other. Go ahead. No kissing, just mouth pudding. So you don't? No questions. I apologize. No kissing. Mouths. Now breathe your lines to one another. Don't speak. Breathe. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? You're not breathing. You're not in love. We, we are. You we must are. be in love. We are in love. You're not in love. We are actually married. You're not married. You're not married. John? So I'm not married. You know, when he's, when he's right, he's right. And, um, and sacrifice is, is art. I may uh, be the dude, but Jim is the dude behind the dude. Uh, not, not in a, a gay way, uh, just in the sense uh, of one dude you know, behind another dude. I mean, classes are expensive. 
But Jim is so generous, if you can't pay, he works with you. Well, he makes you work for him. I do his laundry. Uh, I buy his groceries. I walk his piglets. Don't know why he has so many. But one never judges the master. Jim convinced me to take the role in milk, even though I'm lactose intolerant. I had to drink a gallon of milk a day. It wasn't until I read the script that I found out there was no dairy involved. I was going to in bed. But end of the story, this guy right here. I am embarrassed to say last year I forgot to thank Jim in my Oscar speech. And later that night after the Vanity Fair party, he followed me home and bashed in all the windows of my car. I guess I deserved it. I believe that men were put upon this stage we audaciously call Earth to fill gaps between breaths with insolence, to enter, to exit, to speak our truth, to play our parts, the baby's role being to <laughs> suckle to mother, the boy's role to run, to play, the lover his hot pipe pulsing, the warrior will battle do. This is what I believe. This is what I will leave behind. Hmm? <laughs> Jimmy, I did it. I did it, Jimmy. Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy, I want to play a person. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>